for about a year and a half I've been debating seriously about changing the top caller chart to the top caller copy two, where we will not include the straight up NYAAD line here. It's been a pure stock pickers market for the past year and a half and it looks like it's going to continue that way. And while the NYSE has discontinued allowing other non-stock participants into the NYA, which is in other words the New York Composite Index, they have grandfathered many ETFs, ADR, foreign stocks, etc., closed end funds. So while they're not allowing new ones, they have grandfathered in old ones. So this is where your bond ETFs reside, gold ETFs, etc. So a lot of this reflects defensive positioning. So I have been switching over to the stocks only for the New York composite where they strip out all those ETFs, ADRs, etc. So we'll take a look at that. I have not decided yet if that's going to be the de facto top caller yet. So as it stands, there's no top caller right now because of this AD line pointed up trajectory here. Okay, so we're using the bearish side of divergences, meaning the arrow is on the top and you can see price pointed straight up. Had a downdraft yesterday. And here's the other main component of the top color chart is the NYA to SPX ratio. Definitely downwards trajectory. The ratio adjusted McClellan breadth oscillator for the New York down. The volume ratio adjusted McClellan oscillator is pointed down. And the volume ratio adjusted oscillator for volume using the 19 EMA and the 39 EMA in red are both pointed down. And then we get to the stocks only a D line and it has a downwards trajectory. So there's a bearish divergence across the board to price. And to reiterate I'm undecided if we will use this moving forward and make it the de facto AD line for the top caller.